to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make a wrap dress with color so the um i'm going to be using about three yards of fabric for this so the first thing you're going to do is just fold your fabric into two the way i just folded mine and then you're going to figure out the width by using your bust measurement divided by four so for a wrap dress you normally start with your back bodies before making the uh, front uh, bodies so this is my back bodies at the moment so my bust measurement is the width i'm using here bust measurement divided by four plus one so for me my bust is 42 divided by four that's 10.5 plus one that's 11.5 and that's what i have as my width and then you're going to check your half length so for me that's 17.5 you're going to add one to your half length and that's for me is 18.5 the one inch is for just folding the seam allowance you're going to need to attach the shoulder and also attach the bottom after that you're going to come here and put in your shoulder measurement so for me my shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 that's 8 you're going to come down here mark your uh, armhole so my armhole is um 20 divided by 2 that's 10 so i've marked that here you're going to join this here and then come down here by one inch for your shoulder slant and then come in here three inches by one inch you're going to use one inch here and then you're going to just connect it and mark your neck your back neckline here so this is just your back bodies connect the shoulder slant up to this top part here to this point so that's basically it come down to your waist measurement here if you're using like a very like a crepe fabric or fabric that is weak you might you might not need to you put uh that all you have to do is just um if you're using like satin also you don't have to use that here or or, or satin or silk all this uh, fabric that are light you don't have to put in but if your fabric is strong you might want to go ahead and put in your dad so for me my bust measurement is uh, my waist measurement down here is 36 divided by 4 that's going to be 9 plus extra 2 inches 1 inch for my darting and 1 inch for my side seam allowance so that's 11 I'm going to mark that here and connect this line up to this point here so after that I'm going to go ahead and cut it out so guys you see I've cut out my back bodies now normally you use your back bodies to cut the front body so what you can do now is at this point the way it is so this is the midline of your back bodies you can go ahead at the end here you can go ahead and add like six inches of to the point of the second dart right so if you open this up this is your midline so where your second that is going to come in maybe four inches or five inches from this point you can go ahead and put that in let's say this is the mark of your second uh, dart so what you can do is i'm just trying to show you if you're tracing it on a tracing paper then let's say you've opened it up and this is the line all you can do is at this point of your shoulder slant you can just go ahead and mark a line all the way to this so you see if you're doing it on the tracing paper now you've cut out your your front bodies there are two ways of doing this so this is one method here if you want it to extend even more inside like if you want the wrap to wrap inside a lot then another thing you can do is just open it up this way and then you can you see where my one shoulder uh, tip is you can just fold it this way on one side right and then like this you can just pin it down and use this the way it is now just fold this this way just from this one side of the tip of the shoulder fold it this way and then you can go ahead just pin it down and go ahead and use this here to trace out two of this trace out two of these so that it will be your front panel so you see if you have one on this side and then one on the other side so that's your wrap uh, the first method i showed you guys because i don't want the wrap to go in a, a lot because i want it to have almost like a slit in front so that you can like as you walk your leg can come out so i'm because the bottom is not going to be together i'm using a line for the bottom of the dress so what i'm going to again i folded my fabric placed it so like i said i'm going to be using the first method i showed you guys so i have about five inches here but here i have about five inches here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up here by one inch i'm going to come up here by one inch and then i'm going to just from this point of my just another thing you can do is just trace out your whole uh, bodies here just try to trace it out 
just mark out everything so guys from the um this peak of the uh, neckline here this point so that's the i'm going to connect my i'm going to connect it to this one inch that i marked down here so you're just going to mark a straight line so you see i drew it out on this uh, pattern so now just put in your ruler and draw a straight line all the way down right to this point so you see i've marked that and then what you can do at this point is to go in and draw it so that the neckline will go just give it a curve because if you leave it straight like this this neckline it will show any cleavage and it's almost like it will be choking at the neck so you want to open up the neckline a little bit more so for me i'm just going to try to put in my hand same from that same point again i'm just going to put in my hand and go underneath this straight line because just let this straight line be your guide and then you're going to just come down a little bit so this is how my neckline will be so you see this now here is going to be my neckline so i opened it up a little bit more because this one here is too straight so after that you're going to just go ahead and cut this out so guys this is it here so i'm going to now separate the back and the front and then on this uh, front neck i'm going to just come down five inches halfway through my armhole which is five inches here and then i'm going to go in just like how you normally do for your half an inch in and just connect it here so that it will help my sleeve balance a, a lot more so i'm doing this only on the front panel so i'm just going to cut this out so guys i've gone ahead and cut that out so i'm going to set it aside so this is done i'm going to go ahead and fold my for my bottom part of the dress so guys for the bottom of my dress i'm going to be using this length here so uh, how you're going to determine the length is like no, how we normally do you subtract your shoulder to waist measurement from the whole length of the dress so that's how you're going to get the length for the bottom so my bottom here is going to be about uh 25.5 so plus extra 1.5 one inch for folding the end and half an inch for the top part here to join it to the upper bodies so that's what i have here so in total i have about uh 27.5 Five. so the next thing you're going to do now is like i folded my fabric into two so like i did for the top part i'm going to start with the bottom for the uh i'm going to start with the back bodies of the bottom part also so what you're going to do is fold your fabric like i said this is a line so how you normally do your a line is i'm just going to mark from my shoulder to my sorry from my waist to my hip that's about uh 9.5 inches almost 10 inches right so the next thing i'm going to do is to come here and then i'm going to mark my waist measurement so my waist measurement is um 38 inches uh, sorry 36 inches divided by four that's nine plus extra two inches of uh, one inch of dating and one inch of a uh, one inch of dating and one inch of seam allowance so that's going to be extra two inches so 11 so what you're going to do is my hip measurements is uh 12 48 divided by 4 that's 12 so i'm going to add one inch to it for my uh, seam allowance so that's going to be 13 i'm going to connect that 13 here so connect the 13 to my my waist i'm going to come down so what you're going to do now is whatever room you left here so normally how you do it is divide your uh, hip measurement by four you can add extra whatever you got you can add extra like five inches at the end it depends on how you want your a line to be i don't want it that much uh, i don't want the a line to be that much so i'm just going to use about two inches extra here if you want you can make your six inches if you want you can make 10 inches eight inches people normally use eight inches from that range so but mine is not really that much a line so all you have to do is now from this point here you're going to straighten your ruler so let's say you left about six inches so you're going to move your ruler this way that's after folding it from your hip measurement now you move your ruler wherever you whatever you left here so that's where uh, you're going to point your your ruler to so me mine is at this point so i'm just going to move it this way mine is almost like it's pencil but not really because the end here is not going to be fitted so you see you're just going to connect this line and then after that you come up here by just one inch so that this part will not be picking out and then you're just going to blend it in so blend it into this line 
So that's basically it. I'm going to cut this out and then using this back pattern again, I'm going to trace out my front pattern. So guys, this is what mine looks like. So with this now, I'm going to trace out my front panel. So guys, like I did for the top part, you see, I placed my back bodies again on this. And then I remember that I, I left about five inches at the center here for the top part. So the same measurement you left at the, uh, to use for the wrap at the top part is what you're going to put in here. So after my midline for my uh, top bodies, I left about five inches here. So I'm going to put back that same five inches here and trace out the exact measurement on the on the side but this center part you're still going to put that exact measurement you put from the top bodies um, down here so guys you see like i said trace out the side exactly like how you traced out for the front pattern just like how you did for the uh the top part you're just going to leave your five inches or whatever you left at the center so now this is it here so i'm going to just split it open so this is my front bodies, this is my back bodies. I have two pieces here and one piece here. So now, so guys, what I have to do now is to go ahead and take my back bodies here. The way it is now, I'm going to just dart it. So how you normally put in your dart for the back and all, all you have to do is just to go from your breast point measurement. So for me, that's about eight inches divided by two that's going to be four so at this point of this four here you so i'm going to come down from my shoulder i'm going to come down to about uh, seven inches down here and then my dart is going to go up from here to a straight line and then half an inch on each side and then i'm going to just connect it this way so that's going to be my dart for the back the back side i'm just trying to show you guys and then for my front all i have to do is just how you normally put in your dart I'm going to just put back this here and then I'm going to mark where my dart will fall in. So it's somewhere here. With that same, you see you put in your front, your back bodies here and then so that you can be able to find out where your midline is. So this is the midline here. I'm just going to mark my dart here. At this, so at, for this here, you're just going to go from your shoulder to your bust, uh, your bust. So for me, my shoulder to bust is about, uh, 10.5 almost 11 inches so i'm going to come down two inches before that that's 13 which is here and that's where my dart will stop for the front so i'm going to just go up here and then mark half an inch on each side and then connect it here so that's how i'm going to draw that's just basically how you're going to draw in your dart so i'm going to dart it on the two parts of the front and then so guys this is the front here so you put in the back so this is how you're going to do it after placing your dart on the two side of the back and then all for the front you're going to go ahead and join the two shoulders together if you're using lining you can also go ahead and do that i'm not using lining so i'm just going to join the two shoulders together and then i'm going to cut a bias strip and then use the bias to run it all around the neckline here so guys i've gone ahead and put in my dart so this is the neckline the next thing i have to do now is So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure where I want my um, the neckline, uh, the collar to start. So I want it to come down up to about four inches here. You can wear yours and find out where you want it to come down to. So four inches from the shoulder, four inches here. So what I'm going to do, so I've marked where I want the collar to start, to stop, sorry. So I'm going to just go ahead and measure around the neckline. So... So guys, I've measured mine and it's 14. And remember, so I've just measured it here. Oh, you're just going to place your tape and measure it all the way around and figure out how many, how many inches you need. So for me, I need 14 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my collar now. I got 14 inches for the neckline, right? But what I'm going to do now is that 14 inches, like I folded my fabric into two. I'm using about 4.5 inches of width. I'm still going to open up this end, but I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to do now. So the, I got 14 inches, right? So that 14 inches I got for the length of my collar, I added about, I have about extra one, two, three, four, uh, four inches extra, almost five inches extra, right? So what I'm going to use that for is, I'm going to find the center of this here. And then down my 14 inches, I'm going to just, as, as I've folded this fabric into two, what I'm going to do now is to 
mark my the 14 inches divided by 2 is going to be 7 so I'm going to mark the 7 here I'm going to mark that 7 here and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to this end here right I'm going to connect it so as I've marked the 7 so my neckline is 14 divided by 2 that's uh, 7 so there's extra 2 inches left here so what I'm going to do is where I marked that 7 I just connected it this way and then I'm going to add extra half an inch to it so that I can use it as seam allowance and also connect it to that same end, right? So dot it so that you have your seam allowance here. So this is what I'm going to be using here. I'm going to just cut this out. So as I've cut this out now, the next thing I'm going to do is to open up this end here. So, so guys, as you can see, you can go ahead and iron in your stay at this point. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it back up the way it was before. And then now what I'm going to do is at this end here, I'm going to subtract about 1.5 from there. So I'm going to mark about 1.5 at this end here. I'm just going to mark it and then blend it in. Like mark 3 inches from this back because I don't want it to reach up to that point. And then I'm going to just blend it in. Just gradually blend it in and then cut it out. So I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to notch the end here and notch this top part here. So what I have to do now is to go to my sewing machine and join this top part. So I'm going to make a stitch all the way here and then close it out, close it out here and flip it inside out. So I'll also go ahead and cut my sleeve one time. So now that I've folded this, what I have to do is just to measure around. I'm going to measure around and find what my new armhole is. So that's about 11 inches so my fabric is folded into two now so i'm going to just check if the 11 inches fits in here so it fits in here and then i'm going to just come down by four inches for my sleeve cap and just mark four inches down here use your ruler so that your line will be straight and then the next thing you're going to do is to so the next thing you're going to do is to place your ruler at this top part here connect it this way find the midline so for me this whole line is 12 midline is going to be six mark half moon shape up here down here and then half another moon shape up here so that's basically how you get your sleeve and then at this end point you check your sleeve width so for me that's 14 plus one inch that's eight i'm going to mark that here and connect it this way so i'm going to cut this whole thing out so basically your sleeve width divided by two so for me mine is 14 divided by two is seven plus one that's it so i connected it and cut out my sleeve so i'm going to i also notched it i'm going to join my sleeve and then i'm going to show you guys how i'll put in the neckline so guys this is it here uh i've gone ahead and sewed this top part down to this end so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just flip it out i'm going to flip it and iron it so guys this is the band here the neck uh, for the collar so you see i notched the center i folded it not the center i flipped it inside out ironed it so and i also notched the back neckline the center so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to take it this way place it like this notice i'm placing it on the outside right so i'm just going to take it and sew it all the way around so i found the center here and then the center of my collar so i'm just going to sew it all the way around to this end and then sew this one all the way down Good. so guys this is it here um i've gone ahead and joined it you see all the stitch is out here so what i'm going to do now is you see i have a bias here of about 1.5 inch of width so what i'm going to do is to take this bias and run it around i already have a video on how to put in the bias so I'm just going to take it and run it around on even on top of this here. If you want, you can just stop at this point and then just at this, uh, the remaining seam from this, you just go ahead and sew it down. Like sew it facing inside of your clothes. You just sew it down because that's the same thing you would do with your bias. So let's say you run your bias up to this point, like one inch into the collar and then you stop. Because remember when you put in this bias, you're still going to fold it this way and then fold it down. So it's just for the neat finishing is what this whole bias thing is for. So you're going to, for me, I, I don't think I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to run my own all the way around the neckline to the end, to the other end here. And then as you can see, I've also gone ahead and joined the bottom of the, 
back panel to the uh, top part and then also one the one for the front one side of the front and then the second side of the front so now i'm going to just have one side one seam all the way on the side and remember to leave an opening for your belt to pass through so at the top part your belt the opening is going to come at the upper body it's not on this uh, bottom part and if you want you can also come down here by about let's say two inches here and put in a pocket so with this type here you can also give your wrap dress a pocket on the side if you want to so that's what i'm going to do now is just to first go ahead and run my bias through the neckline and then close up my sides i'm not going to be putting in the pocket and then i'm also going to try to put my belt to yeah, this is what the neckline looks like i'm gonna head and use my bias or i'm going to link in a video on how to put in bias and then i've also gone ahead and closed up the side i've gone i'm going to iron it now so i've closed up the side and you see i hem the end here just hem it all the way up and then also hem your end the end of your clothes so the next thing i'm going to do now is just and i also left um an opening for my belt so i'm just going to cut out my belt and put on both sides on both ends of this here and that will be it so guys this is the tie here on one side and then this is the second tie on the other end so all you have to do now is just to pass it through the opening on this side and then tie your belt so basically the, the main purpose of making this video is just to show you guys the neckline so this is it here and yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye